Hey there guys, in today's video I just want to take you on a quick tour of the small airsoft sniper tower we built here. It's pretty much just a small outpost in the northwest corner of our property. It looks out over the majority of the rest of our airsoft field. Anyway, enough of the introduction, I'll get right into the video. So I guess the first thing we'll do is run through how I set this up. The two main support beams here are a 2x8 board and a 2x6 and they run from tree to tree to make kind of a parallel box. To make up the floor of the tower we've used two pallets and then nailed them into the boards as well as into each other just to give it a stable platform. We've also added some more boards on top of the pallets just to make a more solid floor so your foot doesn't get caught inside the pallets. So coming back over to the front here we have the ladder I have propped up. This was one of the first things we put up. This allowed us to put the floor down and put the rest of the walls up. Also at the base of the fort we have some pallets and some other debris. This is just intended to slow enemy players down, keep them from rushing right up next to the fort. Just to give you guys some context, the floor for the fort starts at about 7 feet high up the trees and then the walls go up another 4.5 to 5 feet. Coming up into the fort we can see a couple things here. There's the ladder in the front middle. This is how you get up into the fort. On the left hand side there's a hole in the wall. This is not intended but it works out okay because this will give you something to shoot through while also being in cover. Just have to make sure that when people are attacking you're not directly in front of that hole. We also have this piece of plywood here and this is just kind of a movable barrier to block the entrance once you're up here so that people don't rush up the ladder. Turning the camera around we see the south facing wall, it's just a pallet propped upright. And just above that we have a makeshift window, just gives you a little bit more protection from the south side. Looking off to the west we see one of the lanes that people use to get from the south side of our forest to the north side so this just kind of gives you a vantage point over that trail. Looking off to the east, we see the whole rest of our forest, so this gives a pretty good vantage point over the whole playing field. One of the last things I can show you guys is some of the floorboards I've put over the top here just to make the floor more solid, as I mentioned earlier, as well as I see a couple of grenade pins from our last battle. Overall, I've really enjoyed building this fort, as well as using it in some of our battles. I've had a last stand here, and it was incredibly fun to have this fort. But that is going to be about it for today's video, though, so if you have any comments or questions on anything you've seen so far, feel free to post them down below. As usual, I will also have some annotated videos here on the right, as well as links to them in the description below. But I think that's where I'm going to leave off today's video, so as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.